welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A look from earlier as the Nets bus arrives at the arena. No doubt this is a club ready to handle this challenge on the road tonight. Making its way out of the station, our setting tonight, Boston, Massachusetts. Round one of the East rolls on, game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldrin. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. James Harden has led the league in points per game the last three seasons. And the Beard said, honestly, it's not even about me scoring. Teams are playing me for the pass. I just try to make the best play. And whether that's scoring or passing, every game is different. Kevin, back to you. DA, he is dangerous in both facets. He's hard to stop. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Harden out there with Irving. And it's Durant. Then, and it's Jordan in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Boston, Walker and Smart, the guard. Round the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. And it's Williams at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. Walker against Irving. And here's Harden for three. Rebound by Williams. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. They won their last game Monday night. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Inside, and the jam by Kevin Durant. Boy, a dynamic wing with freakish length. Durant is the ideal alley-oop target. Walker the pass to Tatum. Launches it. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. First quarter just over a minute played. Durant dishes the heart. Over Smart. Harden can't hit. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Good to see Tatum, as a young player, use his body to draw contact. And it seems to me like he's always looking for opportunities to get to the free throw line. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. You know, there's no question about it. Tatum's ceiling is really sky high. Now it's up to him to meet those huge expectations, and I think he will. And so Tatum nails them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Here's KD. Good D by Williams. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish it. He knows it. Blown opportunity. And stolen by Irving. And now the fast break. Durant with the ball. And it comes off the front of the rim. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Smart kicks to Williams. He can't get that one to fall. Nice D from Durant. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Tatum looking around. Outside, smart. Shot clock at five. Count it, good. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see smart attacking on the interior. The pass to Durant. Off the run, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Williams passes to Tatum. The offensive rebound. Williams, that's good. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Pass to Durant. That one drops for him. KD's got his second bucket tonight. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And it's Brown missing. That's trail by five. Down low. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, you know, you're kidding yourself if you think Durant is going to back down from the opponent. What a strong finish there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Well, you look at Durant, and it's obvious. He feels like he's got so much more to prove. I mean, he's as driven a player as you'll find in this league. That's part of his greatness. Tatum finds Smart. Brooklyn with the rebound. Great offensive performance they're putting on. I mean, guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Here's Walker with the three. Hits the three-point five. I think you got to play up tight on Walker. Even though he's got great quickness, he's excellent at using any space you're giving to pull up for the jump. And good that time. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Walker scored the basket, his second of two attempts. Yeah, Walker seemed unbothered by the defense there. Very creative with the rock in his hand. Irving passes to Jordan. Harden kicks to Irving. Let's the three fly. Let's keep it alive. And the dunk by Jordan. It's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop right the right once he gets his hands on the miss. That's exactly why it's important to work hard on the offensive glass, fellas, for chances just like that. The shot, no good. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. And here's Harris from the arc. Irving. No good that time. Good work defensively by Smart. The kick out to Brown. No good with the triple. Nets trail by three. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Durant. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Smart. Now here's Williams. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Good on the three-point shot. Tatum's got eight. Set him up nicely that time, guys. And Tatum, like most players, shoots better off a good pass. Pass to Irving. Outside Durant. Bomb deep. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. He's got ten. Shots are just flowing on him right now, having a really strong quarter. And now, the first timeout called here for Boston. Griffin's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. 
Nicholas Claxton comes in for Kevin Durant. Brown is checked in for Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Pass to Pritchard. There's the pass to Tatum. And the three off target. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by one. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And so Tatum nails them both. That's trail by three. Dinwiddie passes to Griffin. Harden outside. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And you know, Harden is super reliable from outside the arc. He's got that sweet lefty stroke. And it's a thing of beauty to watch. Now here's Tatum. He's got 10. And that one drops. Tatum's got 12 points in the game. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Here's Harden. No good. Nice D from Fournier. To the inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And defenders have to be really cautious when defending Parker. I mean, he's an incredible athlete who doesn't mind physicality. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond Shoot right two. now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. The first one falls. I like Parker's versatility. He can play both forward positions, in part because he's so long and big, and he's got excellent mobility. And Parker drops them both. That's trail by four. Here's Dinwiddie. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Harden has a wide open look. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. And Harden has the ultimate green light. I mean, it's uber green, including launching from outside of the state. It's the Nets now. He's got 10. Passes it to Griffin. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete. Explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. Big, big guy who can flat out throw it down. And he also can pass it, too. good from Blake Griffin. Griffin hits them both. The Celtics with the lead. Parker outside. Pass to Tatum. Thompson against Griffin. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's blocked. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. And Harden, an absolutely vicious. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. Now a timeout called by Boston.
defense, Brooklyn. Richard passes to Parker. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brooklyn's gone three or five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's Brown. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Evan Fournier. The Nets have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. First free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. So it's the Celtics now. It's a three-point game. With some arc, Fournier's shot is off. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Brown, good. And, you know, when you get a clean look at the rim, Harden usually will find you. I think he's underrated and undervalued at making his teammates better. Now here's Fournier. Pass to Thompson. Six to shoot, and the pass to Pritchard. Shoots a fader. Not enough on that one as it misses. Nets leading by five. Brown finds Harden. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Brooklyn shooting a sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And some changes here for the Celtics. Luke Cornett comes in for Tristan Thompson. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Evan Fournier. They throw good. James Harden. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Yeah, getting to the line and converting, that's the big thing. It's always good when you can do that because it stabilizes your offense. Now here's Tatum. He's got 12. 105 left in the first quarter of the game. It's good. And that's now 17 points for James Harden. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Tatum drives in, and he can't bank that one in. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. To the paint. The shot's good from Griffin. And the Nets lead by 12. Pretty much all of their buckets coming inside the paint now. And here is Parker. Brown outside. To end the cold streak, Pritchard gets the bucket. Boy, Brown, not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. Now Harden, out to the right wing. Here's Claxton, and no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Brooklyn. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We've got more in store for you right after this. And before the game, we checked in with Marcus Smart, who told us how his upbringing helped shape his approach to the game. I'm the youngest of four boys. So as anybody who has siblings older, younger, you understand the struggle, especially being the youngest. You know, you always got to fight for what you want. And no question, Smart is considered one of the toughest guys, Greg, in the NBA. And you have to love his passion, his will sacrifice his body for the team on a nightly basis. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. 
And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys, uh, what jumps stats wise? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Nets. We've got Brown. Griffin is out there with Martin. And it's Claxton in at the four spot. The Nets shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Durant's checked in for James Harden. Trail by 14. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. Offensive rebound. Parker, the third shot of the possession, finally falls for him. Well, I tell you what, tremendous work in getting to the glass by Parker. If you don't box him out, he'll make you pay for it. Durant, basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Harris has checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Brown. Celtics trail by 15. Outside Fournier. On the wing, Williams. Guarded by KD. Just five to shoot. And it's Brown missing. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shots for him so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Irving can't hit. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. And it's sent back by PD. That extraordinary reach combined with good timing makes Durant a real threat as a shot blocker. And that one is good. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for Brooklyn. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Smart's checked in for the Celtics. And the Nets also making a change. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Blake Griffin. Fournier finds Walker. Boston, no good that time either. They have been bored in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Back to Smart. Rebounded by the Nets. Here's KD. Fournier pulls it down. Passes it to Walker. Now to Williams. Pass to Fournier. Pocket six. Shoots over KD. Fournier's shot is off. And here are the Nets. They're on a 15 to 4 run right now. Pops it up for Jordan. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Walker against Harris. And it's sent back by KD. Pass to Dinwiddie. 
Jordan kicks to KD. Here's Irving. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got three assists tonight. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Cornet passes to Smart. No good on the three. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter. So, in Witty with the bucket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Walker against Irving. High arcing shot and two free throws coming up unable to get that one to go with all the contact You know, I like how Irvin also keeps the defense guessing keeps him off balance and he's so crafty and creative around the basket This is his first free throw of the game That free throw good from Kyrie Irving I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that, made them pay. Now here's Williams. Thompson dishes to Fournier. Over Harris, kept alive. Thompson, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Here's Irving. The pass to Dinwiddie. To the middle. Here's KD. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. KD's got 17. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered in like they have. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Nine points in the game so far. Good work defensively by Smart. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Celtics. In the corner, Smart with it. And it's sent back by KD. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Jordan kicks to KD. And shot opportunity and good as it just snugs right down through the net. Austin's gone 0 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Walker in the post. He's covered by Irving. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this week. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And it's good. Two points. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. Well, I like how Jordan embraces his role on this team. I mean, it's all about rebounding and putbacks for him at the offensive end. Outside Fournier. Back to Walker. Shot clock at five. That goes down. You know, even though Walker is just 6'1", he may not be that tall, folks. He is a creative scorer in a hard matchup. Great at making the defense pay inside. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn.
We're making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Durant. Brown comes in for Harris. And it's James Harden in for Dinwiddie. Now, here is Harden. 17 points in the game. Passes to Claxton. He kicks it to Irving. Shot from 16. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. You know, I like Irving's creativity, but also his discipline offensively. He'll take whatever's available. Tatum against Brown. Parker outside. Here's Thompson. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. They did a better job of getting it inside in that first. They've lost some of that physical edge here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Nets making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. At the line with one shot. One shot. Thompson no good on the free throw. Brooklyn's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Harden. 20 points for him. And it's prime time on the assist by Harden. Brown's got six points. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Back to Fournier. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Harden. Brooklyn's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Fournier. Looking to end the run. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And, and, Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Jalen Brown's checked in for Boston. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Down low, Claxton. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Assisted. Irving's got three assists now in this one. Boy, beautiful dime there by Kyrie. We've seen him improve as a passer since he's been in the league. Now, here's Thompson. Pass to Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. A rebound by the Nets. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Here's Brown. James Harden picking up that last basket. Outside Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. The Celtics have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. We'll be in the line shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. So he gets them both. Brooklyn's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. The pass to Harden. Harden draws the double. Now here's Brown. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Brown's got eight. 
just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. They get it again. Perfect. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. Ferocity and intensity from Parker in the paint. He leaves the defense with no choice but to grab him and foul him down there. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. And Parker drops them both. Brooklyn's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Irving with the bounce pass. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And that's the trademark Griffin finish. Get in tight, elevate, and throw it down with authority. Big fella is a beast down low. Tatum passes to Pritchard over Irving and so it's Brooklyn with a 34 point advantage heading into the break their defense has been terrific in this game and now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline all right Dave thanks a lot Kyrie what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight so I come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo um, you know guys are in a, in a great rhythm and we have a great tempo so just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Checking out Brooklyn, they have rebounded very well from their loss in game one and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Once again, we're seeing the high offensive IQ of James Harden. In an instant, he can read the defense and find the weak. You're not going to outthink this guy. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? The shots are not dropping for them, and now they're in a big hole. They gotta be talking about a way to get good shots. Their shot selection, pew, we, not at all what it needs to be. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Let's get back to the action here in round one. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Round the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker in smart, the guard. And it's Williams at center. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. Six on the shot clock. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him up. He finds a way to score. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. At the line with one shot. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Nets. Pass to Harden. Back to Irving. 
Here's Jordan. It's enemies of very efficient five for six on the game. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. At the elbow, Williams. Tatum, that's for two. Tries again, and Williams pays it in. Williams has got six. But showing that aggressive nature, Williams competes hard, doesn't back down, and he'll let his opponent know he's not afraid of the contest. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step up. You know, his scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Right side, Jordan. And a wide open look for Irving. And it's good assisting on the play was Jordan. Man, the confidence Irvin has is, is something I really appreciate. I mean, He's ready to shoot it as soon as he gets it and not afraid of any kind of shot. Now here's Tatum. He's got 17. A rebound by the Nets. Jordan's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Harden outside. Six to shoot. Inside, Durant, and then Durant with the jam. Durant's ability to score in a lot of different ways is huge, and he makes it look easy. Walker finds Tatum. No good, unable to end this run. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. For Brooklyn, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. At the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw good, Jordan. You know, at this stage of his career, Jordan not only knows his role, but thoroughly and fully embraces it. He's out there to provide energy so on defense and on the glass. Dinwiddie is checked in for Brooklyn. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Celtics have gone two of six from the field here in the third. To the inside. And it's Walker that time on the assist by Williams. Walker's got 15. Hey, it's all about how you think, and the mindset of Walker, impressive. He can score in a lot of ways and dominate on offense with virtual ease. Good on the bucket. Excellent vision by Durant out there. What a nice pass. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Harris, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Harris has become such a solid role player, guys. A knockdown shooter who really elevates the team above self. Walker the pass to Brock. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. And he makes both free throws. 
and it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. Outside Durant. To the paint, here's Jordan. Packs in, coming off the assist from KD. KD's got five assists tonight. Walker the pass to Brown. Here is Williams. Walker looking for an opening, and Jordan sends it back. When Jordan comes to deny a shot, his size and reach give him a big advantage. The Celtics have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm, and Brown throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in-your-face, physical, high-energy plays like that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Tristan Thompson comes in for Jason Tatum. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Marcus Smart. Now Walker, James Harden missing on the three. That miss makes him 7 for 12 from the field this game. And now the fast break, Durant with the ball. Then when his shot is off. Fournier goes in. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. When you're guarding Fournier, you just have to be really careful. I mean, he's an uncanny player. He's talented and really good at, at drawing contact as he goes to the rim. And that one falls for Fournier. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Parker's checked in for Williams. Checked in for the Nets. And so Fournier nails both of them. And in a relatively short time, Fournier has really increased his role in the league. I mean, he's a player you have to guard and, and keep on at all times. Now here is Harris. Upside Brown. That one good for two. Well, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Again, the miss by the Celtics. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Jordan with it. He's picked up by Walker. Dinwiddie passes to KD. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Boy, with that long reach of his, so easy for KD to throw it down. Outside Fournier. Out to Parker. Pass to Brown. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, I like the fact that the energy that Brown plays with makes him a guy that does a good job getting to the line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nets. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on them. And the first one drops. Griffin's checked in for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Harris. Both shots good from the strike. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Brooklyn Nets. Pass to Griffin. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Still, Griffin has insane hops. Close in, can sky over others. Helps him to draw fouls. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. 
Husha. And he makes the first. We're still waiting. That first miss from the line to this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Now, here's Brown. He's got six. He dishes it to Fournier. And there's the pass to Thompson. Out to the right wing. Fournier trying to break loose. Pritchard gets the bucket. Pritchard's got his third bucket of the night. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. KD draws the double. Dinwiddie with it. 11 points in the game. Four on the clock. Griffin kicks to Dinwiddie. But Trey, Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Ball's knocked loose. Passes it to Pritchard. And here's Thompson. Brown outside. Celtics passing it around. Here's Pritchard. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. It's good. Yeah, you know, they get it to Durant because they trust him. They've got great confidence in him finishing in the open court. Over in the corner, Brown. Back to Fournier. It doesn't go for him. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Left side, KD. Yep, it counts. Durant's got eight here in the quarter. Looking strong to the finish when Durant locks in on scoring. Nobody's stopping him. Brown the pass to Fournier. Back to Brown. And Durant sends it back. Dinwiddie outside. And a miss there on the triple. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Griffin dishes to Dinwiddie. Durant against Parker. Durant, that's good. Durant's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, you look at the way Kevin Durant releases it so high. Makes it hard to block, which is why he's such an efficient inside score. Here's Dinwiddie. He's got 11. Outside Durant. They double-team KD. Jacks up a three. And no good. Boston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Pritchard. Ten points for him. Shoots the three, and right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. You got to do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Exactly. I mean, deny him the ball in the first place. Don't let him get it. Here's Pritchard. He's got 13, and that one's good. Parker. And, you know, Parker is relentlessly in motion. Never stops moving. Even after the pick is set, He's rolling hard to the basket. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Here's KD. Rebound, Boston. Thompson's got rebound number eight now on the night. Parker kicks to Brown. To the inside, Thompson. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Griffin, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And the strength from the big man. Griffin just refusing to quit and muscling it in. Wow. He's made all five of his attempts at the line so far. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Jalen Brown. And then for What's Brooklyn, up? James Harden. He's checked in for Durant, and Kyrie Irving subbed in for Dinwiddie. That free throw good from Griffin. 
Austin's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. 30 seconds left in the third. Pritchard passes to Cornett. It's hauled in by Claxton. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And on the way from Irving for three. Count it. Number five from the floor this game. He's now five of 11. Poke loose. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Fires for three. Not going to go that time. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Griffin. Tyler Johnson is out there with Landry Schimpf. Then it's Johnson, and it's Claxton in at the power forward. Edwards can't hit. Brooklyn's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Pass to Griffin. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. A primary score for his team. Griffin also has a knack for drawing fouls on the way up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Austin making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. Green, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And he's good on the second. So it's the Celtics now. Edwards kicks to Tatum. Pass to Ogilvy. Out to the wing. Here's Cornett. And yes, it's good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Outside Griffin. Outside Green. Johnson. That's for two. Off target with the open look. No excuses. None. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Edwards passes to Tatum. Here's Ojale. The Celtics working the ball around now. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Ogil. Now here's Neesmith. Pocket six. A solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Neesmith has got his first basket of the night. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Passes it to Griffin. And Boston with the rebound. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. A nice shot by Neesmith. Good read from Tatum that time. Saw the defense had overcommitted and then made them pay with the sweet dime. Well done. Pass to Griffin. It's deflected. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Edwards leading the charge. Neesmith can't get it to go. And so Green will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Dishes it to Johnson. Shamit on the wing. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Boston's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Offensive rebound, Tatum, and terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. 
They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And they pick up two. You know, guys, Tatum's ability to rise into his jump shot makes him hard to defend for just about all defenders. Knocked away. And here is Neesmith. Outside Tatum. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. At the line with one shot. And that one falls for Tatum. The Nets have gone 0-6 in the fourth quarter. Disastrous start to the period. Pass to Griffin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his third personal foul. At the line of defense, Blake Griffin. Two shots. Shooting two. That one is off. Walker's checked in for Boston. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Yeah, love the attitude he's playing with here in the second half. Going strong to the hoop and getting to the free throw line. Here's Johnson. Lays it up off the glass. Johnson's got his first points in this one. And with that bucket, he ceases a 14-0 run by the Celtics. And taken away by Johnson. Stolen away. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Neesmith can't get it to go. Brooklyn's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Green dishes to Johnson. The pass to Griffin. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Outside, Green. Just four to shoot. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Now, here's Green following the miss by Kemba Walker. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. you got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. The net shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. Johnson outside. Outside Griffin. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his third foul of the game. Go the other way. Here's the teardrop. And that's two points on the layup. Pritchard's got nine points here in the second half. Pass to Shamit. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Brooklyn.
And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And the Celtics with possession here. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Pass to Neesmith. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. The first one falls. And so he hits both. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Brooklyn Nets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. For Boston, they've gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Pass to Pritchard for the three. Rebounded by the Nets. Green passes to Johnson. To the middle, here's Claxton. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. But when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Neesmith can't get it to go. The net shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Here's Pritchard. That's it, he's 7 for 12 now in the game. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. Fires from the wing, and it's Shamit missing. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Now, here's Green. Johnson, the pass to Shamit. From about 19 feet, that one off the back iron and out. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Ojale. Got that bucket. And really trying to work the ball inside here and starting to get results. A lot of that offense coming in the paint here in the second half. Shooting for Boston. Shooting. One shot. One shot. At the line with one shot. And here are the Nets. Now Johnson. The pass to Shamit. Shoots the three, buries it from three-point range. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Here's Cornett. Five to shoot. Pritchard from the arc. That one misses. The Nets go the other way with it. Johnson surveying the floor. Stripped away. Down low. 
Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Now here's Johnson. It's hauled in by Cornette. Cornette's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Now here's Edwards. He's covered by Shamit. Cornette passes to Pritchard. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. 125 left in the fourth quarter. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for Brooklyn. Their shot blocking turned out to give them a big advantage in this game. Yeah, excellent defense around the rim there, Kevin. That They were disciplined and focused. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for KD. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Four on the shot clock. From start to finish on that play, defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Edwards passes to Ogil. The Celtics working the ball around now. Pritchard gets the bucket. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Now, here's Shamit. So it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. KD, a statement win. How satisfying is it for you? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, we came out and played hard. Uh, guys played together. And this is all that I expected, man. Um, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we was able to get the win tonight. We're looking forward to the next game. We're looking forward to seeing you out there again, man. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.